This is Alice coming to you from Beamish Crafty Corner, and today I have this box for you. This is a fantastic box. Let's take a look real quick. We can take a look at the measurements. This one is about five and a half by about mm, three and a half. It's about mm, just over an inch and a quarter tall. Really great little size. You can put some neat stuff in here. And this one's kind of different. Let me go ahead and take this part off here. So this is just some ribbon that I wrapped around it just to make it look pretty. So we're going to take the ribbon off, just like that, got a little tag there. And this one actually has a belly band closure, and it just tucks in right here. And there's your box inside, okay? Now, this one only uses a sheet of 8.5 by 11 and a scrap of some kind of Christmas paper or, you know, Valentine's paper, whatever it is you're making this box for. I'm making it for Christmas just because this is like, you know, my week of Christmas stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and get out a piece of cardstock, 8.5 by 11, and I'm going to show you how this little box goes together. It's pretty quick, pretty easy, okay? All right, so get a piece of 8.5 by 11, whatever color you want. Get out your scoreboard. Get out your scoring tool. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need a ruler, and of course, you're going to need your bone folder. So get out all your tools, and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take a piece of 8.5 by 11. We're going to put it into our cutter, and we're going to cut it to 8 by 11. Just take half inch off the end. Half an inch, no more. Bye-bye. Okay. Once we've got that, we're going to take this, and we're going to put it long ways across... Our scoreboard. We're going to take our scoring tool. We are going to score this at one and one quarter. That's the mark between one and one half, okay? We're going to go at four and seven eighths. Now, these measurements are going to be a little bit more difficult than normal, but here's the deal. Just count the, bot, the dots, okay? So, we're going to go at four and seven eighths. So, we're going to go four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For those of you who know, that's the one just before the number five. We're going to score it right there, okay? The next score we're going to put in is going to be at six and one-eighths. So that's six and one box. See? Six and one. Then we're going to go to nine and three-quarters. So we're going to come over here to nine, and we're going to go to the three-quarter. One, two, three-quarters, and we're going to score again. Now, we're going to turn this short way in our scoreboard, just like this, making sure that our edge is up against the side. We're going to score this only twice. We're going to score one and a quarter, and then all the way over here at six and three quarters. Okay? That's it. That's all the scoring we're going to do. We can go ahead and get rid of the score box. Bye-bye, scoreboard. Okay. Now... As always, we're going to fold all of our score lines. We're going to use our bone folder just to make sure that we get these nice, lining everything up. We want nice, crisp lines. There we go. So, we should have one, two, three, four, five sections, and one, two, three sections. Okay, got that? Small ones on the outside, then a big one, then a small one in the middle. All right? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get rid of some of these corners. This corner is going to go away. Doesn't matter which side it's on, that's the one that's going to go away. And then we're going to make some cuts. So, let's get rid of this corner first. A nice straight line here. Just go up to that. Then on the front, nice straight line. We literally just want to cut on the outside of the score mark here. In both directions. Okay? Now, 
we're going to move on to the rest of this. This tab is going to fold in. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a nice straight line here on the larger piece. Straight line. And then we're going to wedge in on the small tab. Okay? So, straight line on the long box, wedge on the tab. Straight line on the long box, wedge on the tab. We're going to wedge this last piece as well. When I'm all done, I'll lay this down so you guys can actually see what it looks like, okay? No, ladies, you cannot use your cutters to do this. This is best done with a pair of scissors. So this is what it should look like. See nice straight edge here, wedge there. Straight edge, wedge, straight edge, wedge, 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 straight, straight, wedge, wedge, straight, straight. Got it? All right, here's the difficult part. You're going to need some glue. I do not recommend tape. Uh, this will come apart very easily if you do that. So we're going to put glue on the tab. And then we're going to fold this up. Now we want to line this piece up with the fold. Now it's important that you get this nice and straight. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with this tab. So we're going to go ahead and put some glue on it. We're going to line up this straight line here with that fold. So once we have that lined up, we're just going to press this together. We're just going to hold it for a couple of seconds till the glue sets up. We're going to do the same thing on the other side here. Glue on the tab. Lining up the side of the side piece with the fold on the tab piece. And finally, the last one. Now, this one can, of course, be a little bit more difficult because you've got your box pretty much built at this point. So just fold it down inside, just like this. And then just let it up. your corner lined up and there you go now we're going to come back on this flap and we're going to wedge those in now if you want you can cut this flap down I don't recommend it. On the front, we're going to go ahead and just round these corners. We'll tuck those in, tuck in the front, and there's the base of our box. All right, for the next part of this, you're going to need your box, and then you're going to need a piece of decorated paper, and this one I did four and three quarters by ten and a quarter. But you can kind of figure that out for yourself. What you want to do is find the top of your box, which is where your flap folds in. You want to go on the other side. And you're going to place this about halfway. And then you just kind of want to finger pinch it. Move it around. Finger pinch it. Bring it up. Finger pinch. Bring it over. And finger pinch. Now, you've got four lines in here. So we're going to fold this over, matching up our sides, and just hit it with your bone folder. Make sure you keep those edges nice and lined up. I'm 
We're going to do the same thing for both sides. Now, fold this over. We're going to put a line of tape right along the edge. Fold this over to meet it. We need a little more tape. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put some tape along the edge. We're going to put our box in the middle with our top side down. We're going to bring up one side. This is the side that has the tape. We're going to bring the other side up to it. And we're just going to seal the tape, making sure that we line this up from edge to edge. Now you have a belly band that fits perfectly on your box. And that's it. I mean, you could leave it just like that. You can add some beautiful ribbons or some lace, put a beautiful tag on it. It is entirely up to you from this point forward. But there you go. Just a cute little box with a belly band that slides right off. Box opens up. Put your little goodies inside. And then just slide your box right back into your belly band. Whoop. There you go. Just a fantastic little gift box for Christmas. So, till the next time, guys, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the big red button and subscribe. Like me, ring my bell, and share me with all your friends. I'm making boxes. Till the next time, guys. Bye-bye.